As we shared with you earlier, some in the press decided to use images of the Oxford High School shooter, Ethan Crumbly, a photo from when he was literally 10 years old and he looked like he was praying, which is a strange image to use for someone who opened fire on his campus killing four schoolmates. Now, Kim Iverson, who is one of the hosts, co-hosts on Rising for the Hill, um, had her own take on the use of an innocent looking Ethan Crumbly photo. Let's hear what she has to say and make sure you listen till the end. Look at the photos of Ethan Crumbly people on social media and some media outlets are using. He's now 15 and yet they chose this angelic looking photo from about when he was 10. What is the purpose of this when there are several other photos like his mugshot that could have been shown instead? The same sort of tactic is used in reverse against black perpetrators and even victims. Rather than use their school photo of them smiling and looking like good kids, they use the meanest looking most aggressive photo they can find on social media to portray them as villains. They attempt to portray them as people who either obviously would commit the heinous crime they did or victims who deserved it. They do this to placate a certain bias and mindset that the audience already holds. And the same looks to be happening in this case. Showing Crumbly as this innocent looking angelic white kid is intended to stoke fear and support a narrative that white people, no matter how nice they look, are domestic terrorists who should who we should all be afraid of. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? That was I'm not exaggerating, this is not hyperbole. That was literally the dumbest take I have ever heard in response to the media's coverage of a school shooter. The dumbest take. Like she got paid to say that. They didn't pay her to say that specifically, but she's getting paid in the process of making literally the dumbest points imaginable. Imaginable. Yeah, I mean, it's like a meme of how it started and how it ended. <laughs> and because it, I was told that that was a controversial segment, I started watching it and I'm like, yeah, that's a perfectly fine point she's making. You know, why is he getting this angelic picture? In fact, it's a point we made on the show. And then her conclusion was, well, that's because they want to, Paint all white people as murderers? What are you, what are you talking about? No, it would by showing him as an angel, it does the opposite. Like, oh, he might have killed four people, but but look at him praying. He's such a nice kid, you know. How would that show all white people as murderers? I, it's just unbelievable. You know, I guess maybe it's a conspiracy theory. Like, oh, because that's all the right wing believes in anymore. They're like facts. That's for other humans. Okay, we we love conspiracy. If you show white people looking angelic, that actually means that they you're trying to make them look like the devil. No, it's it's amazing. It's like it's incredible that she made that point. Anyway, um, so you would think, uh, considering all the backlash she got for making that incredibly stupid point, she would maybe rethink, um, you know, how she handled that. Maybe consider how she's just making something up um, in regard to why certain images are used uh, in regard to white mass shooters. But no, she decided to double down and she uh, decided to quote tweet my reaction to her original video. So my reaction to her original video was simple, what the F? She didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And so she uh, quote tweeted it and said, the photo used for the shooter is meant to support the narrative you've created in people's minds, meaning the narrative I allegedly created in people's minds. Christian white males are terrorists no matter how angelic they look. Oh, that's fascinating. I didn't know that I created that narrative on the show. Did I create that narrative when we showed um, you know, all those other uh, young white males who opened fire and conducted mass shootings across the country? Was I the one who created that narrative as we showed uh, the Charlottesville uh, Unite the Right marchers, uh, you know, chanting things like the Jews will not replace us right before one of them decided to run over and murder a counter protester named Heather Heyer. Was I the one who created that narrative? Was I also the one who created the narrative of what happened on January 6th when you have all of these Trump supporters using brutal treatment toward law enforcement as they're trying to, in their minds, overturn the results of the election, which they didn't like. Was I the one who created that narrative as well? I mean, the fact that Kim Iverson, who by the way, was an idiotic Tulsi supporter who would attack me incessantly because I actually did my due diligence and read about her record and, and formed an opinion and thought based on that. She's the one who thinks that she's right about this. She's the, you know, 
a defender of all white people in the country. White people can never do any harm. They can never do any wrong. And if you ever, ever point to the white nationalists in this country who carry out acts of violence over and over and over again, you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy because you gotta be gloves off when it comes to white nationalists carrying out acts of violence. Focus on the others, don't focus on the young white men. Okay, Kim Iverson is a joke. She's an absolute joke. I don't even know where she came from. I don't know what her background is, what her credential credentials are to do what she's doing. I know that The Rising was certainly desperate for co-hosts, and I guess they had to resort to her clownish ass doing this, you know, segment. But nonetheless, one other tweet I wanted to share with you guys because apparently Keith Olbermann also went after her. She didn't like that. Liberal outlets like TYT and MSNBC have spent the better part of the past five years telling people Christian white men are our nation's biggest threat, yet people like Keith Olbermann and Anna Kasparian can't understand my conclusion on this. No, I understand your conclusion. Your conclusion was incredibly stupid. So that was that my reaction. The the what the F was my reaction to how incredibly dumb her point was there. And yes, I know I'm calling her stupid over and over again. Not her, I'm calling her point stupid, but she deserves it. What was that? That was absolute garbage. Okay, so a couple of things here. Number one, she's saying, we make all Christian white men look like that. Who said that and when? Just by the okay. very nature of covering the stories, Cenk. How okay. dare we? How dare we? Yeah. How dare we? Yeah, when local news was putting up one picture after another of specifically black defendants, not white, because it got them better ratings. And they pushed that ideology that, that black people are more violent because it got them better ratings. Uh, that apparently was just, oh well, golly gee, they happen to just pick all the black uh, people accused and then not the white. That was just a okay, okay. Uh, now, in this case, well, is it true that there are equal number of right wing terrorists in this country and left wing terrorists? It's not remotely true. Every fact backs that up, the FBI backs that up. It's overwhelming. Now, does that make all right wingers terrorists? Of course not. But most of the terrorists in this country are right wingers. And, and white. And by the way, we say white right wingers. We never say Christian. What does Christian have to do with it? Okay. And second of all, we don't say all white people because there's tons of white people on the left. And if they go to a protest, they'll get their ass handed to them by the cops. And no, they will not get any privileges and they might get shot just like anybody else. You go to an oil pipeline uh, protest and you're a Christian white male, you're gonna get your ass kicked by the corporate funded cops. So nobody says all white males, nobody says all Christian white males. By the way, the, your co-host that you're sitting next to is a Christian white male, Ryan Grimm. And, yeah, that's and, very and true. one of the best journalists in the country. And also, by the way, a TYT contributor. Uh, so we like Ryan, <laughs> okay? I mean, this is obviously absurd. And she takes our points about right-wing terrorism that is specific mm -hmm. and says, there's a straw man argument. You see how they're saying it about all Christian white males? By the way, it's so, not. And by the way, not only is it a straw man argument, it's a lie. Kim Iverson lies for a living. So she sits there and goes, oh yeah, this is what TYT says. Well, I mean, look, we don't sue people, but I guess the Hill doesn't mind at all defamation, slander, all that stuff, right? Oh, call us, you know, bad. That's calling us religious bigots, that's calling us racist, etc. And they don't care. They don't care. But to be fair to the Hill, and this is a problem that sometimes people will say, hey, Cenk, why don't you have right wingers on the air more? I can't find sane ones, I'm, I'm serious. Whenever I find a, a sane right winger, John Ziegler, I don't agree with him on 90% of stuff, but he's not a lunatic, we, we have him on the conversation. I just had Joe Walsh, former Tea Party Republican on the conversation. I try, but most of them have lost their goddamn minds and all they ever do is lie. By the way, FBI, the FBI um, has cited white nationalists as a massive national security threat to the country. Because look, she's using euphemisms here, okay? She refers to them as Christian white males, but don't fall for that euphemism. Because what we talk about on this show over and over again is not about how dangerous Christian white males are. We talk about how dangerous white nationalists are. The very white nationalists that Kim Iverson for some reason seems to have a vested interest in protecting and laundering. Why? Why does she feel the need to do that? And what I especially love about all of this, right? We've come full circle, Kim. Kim Iverson, who claimed that I was not 
pure enough to consider myself a progressive because I was critical of Tulsi Gabbard is now defending white nationalists in the country. She had the audacity to claim that I am not who I claim I am because I wasn't supportive of a lawmaker who was running as president, who I actually took a little bit of time to look into the record of, something that she was too lazy to do. It wasn't until recently that she tweeted out that she had decided to no longer support Tulsi Gabbard. Oh Wow, congratulations, Johnny come lately. Yeah, I honestly, there's so many grifters now. So I, many. I, I don't even know if she's pretending to be left wing or she's right wing or I don't know what she's pretending. What, she's what, chasing those dollar signs, let's just keep it 100. And yeah. I see right through it, Kimmy, I see right through it. And so yeah, if you say something incredibly stupid, there's gonna be backlash. Instead of doubling down, maybe she should have taken a moment to reflect on how dumb her statement was. But of course, she can't be bothered to do that. So she not only doubles down, but decides to throw out smears against anyone who might criticize her. What a yeah. clown. And by the way, just to, I mean, to dispel the lies that she says, have we, do we only show Christian white males that have committed crimes? Obviously not. Just the other day, we showed you the guy in Wisconsin who drove through the crowd in a van, and he happened to be black. And we showed you why, because it was a major crime, and he's black. <laughs> so did we hide that? No. Did we take it easy on him? No, we absolutely obliterated him, right? Because we actually care about substance. We care about what's right and what's wrong. Now, these the right wing then say, oh my God, they're targeting Christian white males. These are the same exact people who said, all Muslims must apologize for what any Muslim does. You remember when there was more Muslim terrorism in America? Then now it's almost all right wing, right? And so back then they're like, oh, Muslims must apologize. All Muslims are guilty. If they didn't apologize to me, by the way, they would. Care would put out a statement for no reason, saying, hey, we're you know the Muslim community is heartbroken, etc. We they don't have to apologize. This. We condemn right. it. Every Muslim organization would be forced to put out a statement. Why? Like, do they condemn it? Of course they condemn it. But it doesn't have anything to do with them. Did the churches put out a statement? Why do they? Why do they need to put out a statement? Why are all 1.6 billion people guilty? But the Kim Iversons of the world love that. They're like, blame the Muslims, blame the Muslims. They're all guilty. Why didn't they say? It? And then they would put out the statements, and then they would ignore them. They would pretend that they didn't put out the statements, and they would declare that all Muslims were guilty. Right now, when we say, look, the majority of the terrorists in this country, which is a fact backed up by the FBI, are white. Right wingers, they go, oh, they said Christian white males lie. Oh, they're targeting us like we were targeting them. So spare me your crocodile tears. And I said, the reason I said to be fair to the hill is because find a non lunatic right winger and put them on air. Good luck. Good luck. So are we going to do shows where we give right wingers equal time? No, we are not. Because then we'd have to give a lunatic equal time. I'm not going to do that. There's enough lunatic right wingers all over TV, all over the media. We don't need them here, okay? So the hell you want to do a show half wonderful reporter, half lunatic? Have at it, Hoss. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.